Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. Uh-uh. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big, big. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, you know, Madeira, walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, oh, subscribe, shit, follow us on Papa. all social media platforms. What I mean, all I mean, all I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, oh. TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We pop up first in line, I guarantee you. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you'll see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of this fire content we're giving out every single day. But if you want to see our exclusive stuff now, there you got to become a member. Members only. Under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow all the instructions, and let me tell you, you're going to thank me later because mm, you're going to see some stuff first before anybody else. Thank you for all the love and support. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, man, it's your boy ECEO, man. We on Boss Talk 101. Here we go again. We got some people in here today, y'all, they don't need no introduction. Hmm. One of them done call itself the Lord. I don't know what's going on. Sire brought, brought the Lord with him. Yeah. I don't understand what, how he done it. Ain't nobody never brought the Lord on my show. <laughs> you know what I'm so, so y'all got the so Lord in here. I didn't know right. that the Lord was white. I heard about the picture. You knew it. The picture? You knew it. You go to, to the church, they got a white you know Lord. It, you know it, boy. You know what? Yeah. what? That, you said that. So, you know, <laughs> let's it's get tall, it, man. Tall, yeah. So what is it? Lord, uh, Lord, Lord? Lord Owen. Say it again. Lord Owen. Yeah, Lord Owen. Lord Owen is in the building, y'all. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about calling the white guy Lord on Boston. Talk gotta, one on one. Hold on. My fault. Yeah, I'm trying to get this out. I'm gonna get I'm trying to get used to it. I'm gonna call yeah. you L O. Okay. Okay, I like that. Like <laughs> something. You gotta come up with something. Yeah. Hello. Okay, now now y'all do a podcast. Yeah. Uh -huh. When did y'all start it? Because my homeboy said y'all just started doing the podcast. You've no. been rapping. I seen all your in it. Yeah, yeah. What we, happened? We fresh, but but we not that fresh though. We got, okay. we got a lot of reps in, but yeah, we we on season two right now. Season y'all season and shit. Yeah, I yeah, yeah we, we break it up in season. Y'all niggas is hard. Like I I tell you I tell you why in a minute. I tell you why in a minute though. I tell you why in a minute. Okay, though. but we want first of all, I'm gonna have to break this all the way down because we don't do bounce talk like that. Okay. Ladies first, Miss Jamaica's in the building. Uh, she got some things she want to go over with you guys. I did not know she was Jamaican too. Well, let's just get to it. Yeah. Uh, okay, Miss Jamaica, what you think about these guys? One of them named L.O. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Um, I like to go into y'all's background. That's what I need, I like to know. Okay. Um, so you said you are from? I was born in the Bronx. In the Bronx? Yeah, I was raised in Atlanta. In Atlanta. Yeah. How old were you when you moved from the Bronx? Nine. Nine? So yeah. you still remember the Bronx real well. Yeah, I go home all the time. Okay, and where yeah. were you born and raised? I was born in San Diego, California, but I was raised in, in New York and South Carolina. Okay, how old were you? Come on, break it up. So I was born in Cali. I moved to New York when I was eight. I moved to South Carolina when I was 16. And then I came to Atlanta as an adult, like early 20s. You just moving around. Basically, his you? mom was Jenny from Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever hippie she kind of figured out. She was trying to find Forrest. Yeah, he was running, running every goddamn way. I couldn't find him. That shit sound crazy, I know. Yeah. So it sounded like you were raised in a single parent household. I was. And he wasn't. So and who's privileged wasn't. and who's not? Oh, you okay. tell me, because it's feeling fucked up over here. <laughs> so where was that? I don't know. Did you know that? It was what? I know him. It was weird. My mom was a Marine and my dad was a draft dodger. I figured that. Okay. So like my mom was military, but my dad was like a Jehovah's Witness and against military. Mm. Oh, they switched genders mid-house. It was weird. And they put it all yeah. aside one night and created you. Yeah. Mom's was the Marine. Mm. I think so what, she, what I think she was listening. Pops she, was a Jehovah's yeah, Witness. Yeah, like my mom told me what? she conceived me to, to White Snake, and she, she was taking White Snake at the same time, What's I White guess. What is White Snake? What is White Snake? What's White Snake? A band? The lonely road that like I've that, ever like known. That. You know what I'm talking about? I've never heard nobody come on my show <laughs> and talk about no goddamn white, white snake. Even the snake's white in this nigga head. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> white snakes? But nah. All kind of shit hey, going on. Hey, but nah. Yeah. White, white, white snake was a band. Oh, like, okay, okay, Around okay. the time when I was born, that was like hot for white people, of course. Right. Okay. I remember Kiss. I remember some different bands. Yeah, but I never DC heard of yeah, white, white snake. snake. It sounds Smith, a little pause. Yeah, white, yeah. Well, that's okay. White snake, so. white snake. But yeah, your mind going there, huh? Well, no. we should all take a trip. A white man ain't never had nothing look like no snake. What's <laughs> this? <laughs> we had, technically, we had the first snake. Oh, the, oh. I mean, 
Oh, look at that. I mean, you know this saying? dude is tripping. I don't know what the hell yeah. he's going through. He's going through that. <laughs> you but know, not, but yeah, he, he wasn't really, he wasn't really around like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, did you meet him? Yeah, yeah. When I when I was real little, like I would see him like every other weekend or something like that. But okay. Once we moved to New York, like I, I I moved to New York when I was like eight. I saw him like one more time, and then I never seen. So you him didn't again. have a relationship with him? Uh, uh-uh, no. Nah. Does he have more kids? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Like I got like half sisters and shit. That like, do y'all do black people do that? Do y'all count like half siblings, or do y'all just they call, call them, them their regular siblings? So yeah. you wait a minute, stop, yeah, yeah. Pop, stop this show. Half a siblings. <laughs> you talk really to me about it. Have never been around black people and how they personify who they. I mean, have half brother. siblings is a very specific thing. I mean, because I'm trying to understand how long hmm. you niggas been knowing each other. We cool though, but we, I guess we never broke it down. I'm still trying. I'm still trying to meet his sister. <laughs> My sister ooh, he knows that. Ooh, he knows I don't want you to meet my sister. <laughs> I, I, I never met your sister though. Oh, you haven't? No. It's time. Swap it out. How long y'all time. been knowing each other? I, know, I met. I no, met. No, you know the fan on my parents. He met my parents and shit. Where, like where we met at a sex store or something? What? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> no, we met. We met uh, only in San Diego. Well, Atlanta. We met, actually, we met actually, Atlanta. Atlanta. That makes sense. Atlanta. What? Yeah. But he, he met my parents. Yeah. Yeah. You did? Your mom's such a sweet lady. No, but you know what I'm trying to do though? No. no. I'm on a show. What the hell no, no, no. Saying? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying on a show. I mean, you know what I wanted to do though? What? Because you know how like your pops wasn't around, but mine wasn't on yeah. some switch shit? I wanted to do this like, like see who dad answered first. Call thing. <laughs> well, mine's not going to answer. You don't think so? Is he <laughs> not? No. No. He when was the last time you spoke to your dad? Um, Like 2019, Crazy. I think. But... But like when I, I the, my first time talking to him, like after not talking to him was mm-hmm. like 2018 and that was my first time speaking to him in 18 years. In 18 years, who yeah. called who? Um, I, I got his number from my half sister because there was just things I didn't know about that whole side of my family that I just mm-hmm. wanted to wanted like, to know. Find where the hell are we even from? Like what, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't know shit. What illness is running my family? Yeah, I didn't know shit about him or his side of the family. He looked just like him though. I see yeah, the picture. Facts. He oh, okay. just like him though. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. He look like an old. His pops like an older version of this same really? face. Yeah. yeah, exact same face. Handsome. And you ain't rock with dick him. on him. And he ain't. <laughs> yo. And he ain't, he ain't and rock with you. Swing the same way. I have no Oh my god. So yeah. how did it feel growing up without your father though? He don't. Did you have? Did you, you have like, like a stepdad yeah. Yeah. or yeah. you have? <laughs> did you have a stepdad or any of that I mean, stuff? Kinda. I feel like I had a few. Okay. Like that, you could actually look up to. Real shit. Because you don't know, because you had a perfect household. But no, what? When, oh, it wasn't perfect. No, well, don't stick up to him. Don't do ain't that. Perfect. You don't even know him. I don't have to know him. No <laughs> niggas ain't perfect. Well, he done been through some shit. His mom and dad went through some shit. Yeah, sure. Racism. They nah, victims of racism. Oh, all kind of shit. God. Oh yeah, that shit is yeah, real. Let's talk you know what I'm talking about? It's a real fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Your parents' parents was fucked up. For sure. How far back are we going? Oh, we can keep going because it's his lineage. You can keep going because the parents. Parents, parents, yeah, all that shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, we can keep going because all that going. shit trickles down to him. Yeah, he do. He wouldn't be here. I without wish I got that same experience. Sure. If he had a history, For sure. he only know his people. Yeah, damn y'all. Damn, <laughs> us. Right. damn us. And he, shit, and he don't know who his people is. Yeah, right? yeah what like, the fuck? fuck. That's the fuck. Shit, he must have been hanging with black dudes. Who? Your dad? I don't know. Had to be. He don't know. He much. putting that same old stuff. But damn. how was that conversation when you called him after so many so many years? It was cool because I, I didn't like want nothing really or expect nothing. I, I'm going to be honest. My mom did such a good job as like a single mother that like when I was real, real little, there'd be those moments where I missed them and stuff. But once I started growing, like I, I never like I didn't. It wasn't until I became a man like much older where I was like, OK, I could see where my father not being in my life affected me or slowed me down. Did you have down. kids at that time? Who, Do you me? have kids? No, I don't have any kids. Okay. But Do you I want any? Yeah, I want some. Eventually? Yeah. The yeah. reason why I ask you because ask normally, him. sorry. Ask him about ask, ask him what you really want to ask. No, him about. that was it. No, what kind of kid well, though? About to say you like black? Keep girl? going, keep going, e, keep yeah, going, yeah, yeah. keep going. You do? Keep yeah. going. I don't know if I agree with this anymore. Why? <laughs> Let's move forward, it just, man. It, it, it got weird. Yeah, man. It was cool in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's cool when we do it. Oh. It's a problem when y'all do it. That's funny. <laughs> but uh, Go ahead. but 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 nah, yeah, um. Yeah, I didn't really, when I was growing up, I felt like I, I didn't really miss out on nothing. I didn't think about it like that. It wasn't until, you know, one thing about, like, my mom, my mom raised me to be, like, a good kid. Mm-hmm. Like, respectful, you know what I'm saying? Do the right thing. But that more, like, aggressive kind of side, I feel like I had to 
catch on later in life from the the other like men that I looked up to in my life like my the the friends that were maybe like Psy, big brothers what? to me yeah like people like Sai and other friends that I had that I could see they had that in their life growing up and that's why they exude a certain energy that maybe you know maybe I did maybe I come off a little more you know reserved or timid or or whatever but sometimes no matter how much a mom try to raise their son mm -hmm. properly sometimes when there is an absence of a father figure there sometimes a mom can't do what a dad can do right and a lot of times the the, the boy end up with on the streets looking for that father mm -hmm. figure no matter how good a mom is right so how did you not end up or did you end up out there in the streets and stuff like that i mean not, that i definitely wrong? made my mistakes and had my you know my knucklehood my, my knucklehood is crazy knucklehead days of doing like hot boy shit and shit like that but I, nah it, it, it wasn't like that deep for me it was just more so like i don't know i just i would see like as i got older like maybe i was in high school like playing sports or something i would see the kid whose dad was also the coach that was pushing him every day at practice and maybe like he was a little bit more sure of himself on the field whereas like mm -hmm. maybe me i had to like gain that confidence and kind of find it myself because i didn't have someone giving me that re right. reassurance and it, it was it was areas like that where i kind of noticed it like as i got older it never made me want to like i don't know like Look for it somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, or like self sabotage necessarily right. or anything like that. Right. Facts. It never it never really made me want to do that for real. Well, okay. So, so what you think, man? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I like it. Since you got a perfect life. I like, I like why he's dealing perfect, with something about sometimes. A perfect yeah. life. Yeah, I like it. The nigga came at you all like wrong. Yeah, he like got it. a perfect life. Right. Right. Let's talk about your perfect life. Nah, with your mom and dad. Nah, it's crazy because even in, even in like, even in the hood, like, there's some people that, that'll bring that up. Cause both my parents in the crib. Mm. Jay the kids had both of his parents. Yeah, I mean, I, I never let that. I never knew. Either. I never. Oh, I'm that. just gonna give yeah, it to you. I never. To like three I, I never. It never made you feel no way oh, when they said out. stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> when they said stuff like that. Yeah. Nah, like some of the homies were saying, it wasn't strange. It was never strange. But even if it's homies, but still. Yeah, the homies might try to throw some extra. Like, like if I try to challenge them or say like, yeah, you could have did better at this. Like, nigga, you had both your parents, so they might use that. But nah, I should never Because I'm like, bro Your mom's probably had $20 My mom's had 10 And my dad had 10 They both had $20 That's crazy Right We had the same shit, nigga We in the, we on the same You know what I mean? It's just like But I got to learn the difference Between the projects and the hood It's a difference What's the difference? A lot of people don't know that What's the difference? I live I was born in the hood I was not from the projects So okay. like like In the Bronx Like my parents is from the projects in Harlem They're from St. Anne Projects okay. Right? They then moved to the Bronx to a spot called Concourse Village, it's six buildings, three buildings, three buildings on east side, on east side, right, off of Grand Concourse. So my cousins live in eight forty, we live in seven seven nine. Now it's still the hood, but we got the building is twenty four floors, right, six buildings, but it's a like security guard downstairs. You got to get buzzed up, mm. right. But outside of the ville, it's like eight forty where all the crazy niggas live at. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't got no security. So like, if you had that in the hood. If you had to get buzzed up and shit, they looked at you like yeah, privileged, you, like not privileged, but you not really us for real. Exactly. Sweet. Yeah, like this, this is this some type of structure in your crib to even be able to get that. Right. Even though we all on the same block, it's mm -hmm. just that you we outside the gate. Totally understand. Like when we walk outside, the streets is there. When we walk outside, it's still kind of like the ville. So it's like you, like if you got in trouble in the ville, they could ban you type shit. They could be like, okay, you can't come back around here. But mm -hmm. I, but at eight forty. Nigga, I could, I could sell crack, get arrested, come right back the next day. You can't kick me out because I'm, it's the street. Wow. So I think that that was kind of a thing, too. We beef with 840 growing up. It was like, we kind of, some of us, the kids kind of feared the older niggas in 840. The older niggas in the Ville didn't. But the younger niggas, we always heard, like, yo, don't go over there. It was like the hyenas and the Lion King type mm -hmm. shit. Like, don't go, don't leave our proud rock type shit. Even though the hood <laughs> felt safe, though. But once you got to the other project areas and you wasn't familiar, it was like, it was different like that though. It's like that in the hood for Marcy's real. Marcy's projects. We went over there with D Haven and where Marcy projects. Oh, yeah. We went up on the roof. We I interviewed him there and we mm. was all over that thing. And uh, to be real with you, I could see how they could get caught up and conform to just their people yeah. in there. Because he yeah. was telling me it was twenty four families in each. You know, yeah, yeah. the little quarter. Marcy in Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, it ain't the same out there no more. By the way, we ain't gonna. No, go no, it definitely not. It ain't the same no more. Oh, it's got some people over there with some little things on their head. They everywhere. Jewish thing. I don't bro, know what the hell going on. This what I was talking about, bro. You know what I'm the only borough that ain't, that ain't like seen that gentrified to me now is the Bronx. 
that ain't really got gentrified yeah. for real. Like, bro, they, bro, and Brooklyn, Brooklyn niggas still talk that shit though. Like, I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all oppress a nigga crossing the street, <laughs> but y'all let 42 Jewish motherfuckers cross with the moccasin over their head, yeah. mad peaceful, and don't say yeah. nothing to them. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah, back, back like a nigga can't cross the street. It's it's y'all totally be, different. Y'all be doing too much though. Y'all again? Yeah. Well, it's it's a group of y'all. Okay. It's never one. Y'all well, is crazy. How many? Y'all done, you you seen Eight Mile with Eminem and yeah, shit? Yeah, it was one of them, right? No, no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't y'all y'all with him. him. Yeah, I know it. You you like him because you and him y'all kind of relate. Yeah, you y'all fuck with him. Was at the house. Yeah, you fuck with him. Y'all like got him. very see, similarities. Oh, that's facts. I, I, I can tell. I'm oh, thinking. I'm, oh, I'm I already seeing. Right I ain't peeped yeah, that. Don't yeah, do that. Don't, yeah, know, don't be knowing shit. No, it's your boy. Yeah, I already yeah. knew it was your boy. He ain't really have his pops, huh? That's the same shit. Exactly. I'm looking at it. See, you be bragging about him all the time. No, not all the time. I knew it, bro. Just yesterday. Damn. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That's his boy. Hey, on that subject, can I ask you a question? What's that? And I, I'm going to be vague with the way I word this because yeah, I want yeah. you to just... Word whatever it right. It, word but, it right. No, but just whatever it means to you, I want you to give me an answer, Definitely. Okay? Definitely. No problem. Who is the who is perceived as the undisputed best rapper of all time Pimp from Texas? Yeah. Pimp oh, C. thank you. Pimp C. Easy. Oh, I, was, I wasn't expecting that. You're going to say Scarface. I if was. you never watched... Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to say Scarface. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You must have never watched this show before. It's debatable. No, you must have never watched... You, I, I knew he was going to go with Pimp C, though. Right. It's not a debate. But, but, but... Yeah. Now, 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 I'm going to ask you... You like Pimp C, too? No, e, e. I just knew it wasn't Scarface. Oh, e, okay. I'm going to ask you another way. If, if, you go in, if you go in public and you ask 50 people... In Who's Texas? the best rapper? We're in Texas, the best rapper in Texas? of all time. In Texas, Pimp C. Pimp C. People Facts. who here are going to say Pimp C. Pimp C. How the hell is Pimp C over Scarface ever? It's because of the. It's the. And I don't have no say so in Texas. I'm just confused. It, it's because of the way people he rapped. outside he rapped of Texas it. He are going to say Scarface. He rapped it. He rapped it. But why not in Texas? Well, it's because Scarface was the one second, because okay. you keep talking over and no, trying I, to I just tell you. He's trying yeah. to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. Well, you Go just got to understand that. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He repped it like no other. He lived and stood on everything that we are. And yeah. I just don't see Scarface in that light. It takes a hell of a thing to become a leader of a people and represent your people to this level that he done. Mm. Mm. You know, so I, I I never go against him. And he was a hell of a rapper, but he was a producer as well. Mm. So there's a lot of elements to him. Yeah. You, you you from New York, so y'all think lyrics is everything. Okay. We like to jam. Okay, we don't okay, give okay. a damn about your lyrics like that. Okay, okay. We are jamming ass folks in the South. Okay, when okay. you hear the beat drop, when you hear the music pumping, right. that's mm. how we took everything from everybody too. We right. are jammed everybody. So the mm. king, so the king y'all of Texas. Y'all ain't hearing me. King of Texas is it the truth? I like no, that. No, no, no. I jammed no, no, everybody. See, we, 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 we don't we don't really yeah. got no opinion on. We we was yeah. arguing about it earlier because. Yeah. I was telling him in, in respects to, to uh, Texas, right? For sure. My, the, the, the respect that I, because I'm I'm from New York, so we got of course the lyrics, the MCs. There you go. But my 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 thing was I wasn't tapped into the other cultures because I was stuck on the East Coast mm-hmm. as a young age. But what I noticed was I'm like, damn, everybody pop, Jay Z, all these niggas when they go get somebody from Texas, the first nigga they go get is Scarface. He was the it first. Was That's because of Jay Prince and who he is too. That you got to give it up to the way that they. Even built it up, okay, and when they game, went and got him, it know. was because they knew of him because of the way that Jay Prince shopped them around. He took oh, them everywhere. So, okay, so, so Prince this, shop, the, shop, yeah, shop Jay Prince them was already working them in them elements in them rooms. Right, so right, Pimp right. them got it out the mud. That's why they the underground kings mm. because they was really Talk underground. Shit, OG. We, you know what I'm saying? This is the truth. Mm. They uh, they didn't want to be known mainstream. Mm. They jammed for us, and that's another reason they the best. Mm. They made it more intimate. So when I seen Bun go on the stage at Essence, felt. All that other shit didn't matter. Even though <laughs> right. they're my boys, Cash well, Money, well, I love them. Everybody that went up there, Buster Rhymes, sense. all these different folks, oh, everybody God. was there. But when Bun hit this, it's a different thing for right. me because of I know how they rep Texas. Right. They rep Texas harder than anybody ever seen. Right. And when you think about Scarface and them and people, even Houston, I say this, um, you know, they rep H Town. Mm-hmm. But when OUGK rep Texas in the yeah. South, and yeah. it was a different it was world, yeah. right? You know right, what I mean? Right. Like the people's choice. Yeah, yeah, they made so sure. It's For sure. Okay. I ain't no hesitation when you're talking to me. You know, you gotta find <laughs> we, gotta po- we gotta post this. Like, so just fire. Like, yeah. I just had to know. It's gonna go crazy. Well, everybody gonna agree. 
Because, you know, sometimes... You know what I'm saying? Nah, but they're going to go crazy on it, with, though. With different regions we in the argue, South. And we argued about this in the car earlier. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 we did. I don't know. It's not an argument. I'm playing Scarface shit so he can get it. No, Scarface cool, but I'm telling yeah. you right now, Pimp C and it's UGK pimp. and Bum B, that shit yeah. different, bro. Yeah, cause, well, we, 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 we was comparing Scarface to Bum B. We didn't even get you to You looking pimp. at the lyrics. Lyrics is... Yeah. yeah. I'm, no, no, I'm looking at everything. No. No, 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 no OG. I, I, not just lyrics. He was, though. He was, because he was talking about how Scarface had that pain. He would tell uh, yeah, like the, the real I'm talking, about the, I'm talking about the storytelling fuck no, the lyrics yeah Scarface yeah, yeah. is definitely the best storyteller ever yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, yeah. cause I'm gonna say Scarface over Jay Z it's gonna be bad oh okay okay. so it's gonna well, be it's gonna be okay. horrible I'm, the way I'm gonna put this together yeah. for you. No, I'm no, like no. You go, you go the reason being yeah. is because no I'm just looking at the way it was denied it yeah. was never scaled properly right so at mm. the end of the day I can't go by the, your list your numbers your mm. who sold the most all that with, yeah. which we sold a lot but I'm just saying I can't can't go by none of the stuff that that, that was built up because yeah. it was all set up in a way to ma manipulate it. Things. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. So I never go with it the yeah. way it was done. Yeah. So I, now I, I'm I, over I in no at man's at land. I, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> I, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at that. Nah. People from Dallas don't even like people from Dallas don't even support Houston music. So for people in Dallas, mm. in Texas, see, mm. that means a lot. Well, first of all, I'm not Thank from you. Dallas, Taylor. But you know what I'm so saying? So don't, don't, don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I sold clothes in, in, in front of Harlem Nights in oh Houston. I'm a real hustler. I'm The earth is my turf. I told you oh that. Oh, my gosh. Mm. So, you know, when yeah. I go out, I go out. Everywhere, yeah. yeah. But I definitely know what you mean. A lot of people in Dallas, Dallas and Houston, two different elements. I'm so glad you asked him that. Yeah. Well, one know. thing about it, I, I, I mean, need to hear that shit. Of, it's the truth, my I need truth. To hear, I need to right? hear that shit. And you knew the answer already, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, she know. I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to pimp hardest ten songs. You can go back to ten, twenty. You can keep going. It's a I bunch of them. Okay. 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 It's the way okay. Makes people feel. It's like the start at too hard to swallow. You can go all the way back to his first I'm work. Gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check some of that shit out. Yeah, but it definitely is something that, that you gonna mm -hmm. oh you gonna be jamming. I you can you. ride all day, all night with that. Shit. I'm, I'm I'm deep in on on the texture shit. So I'll, really, I'll, yeah. Who who do you more, more, outside more, of outside of uh, more so Houston though? What outside yeah, of what outside of pimp and and I'm gonna ask the scarf. Well, no, no, no. I just I got I I technically headlined my first show in Houston. Really? Yeah, at Warehouse Live and like Trader Truth, like he he stamped me real hard. Like really? He, yeah, he gave me OG Ron C. Yeah, Holly Grove. Them yeah. niggas came to my shit and just showed me a certain type of love. Trader Truth got my number. and I don't know how. By the way, that's how we got cool. Really? That's he hard. called me one day and it was like, "This me," and I was like, "I don't even, I know of you." I'm like, "Salute, big homie," but how did you get my shit? He never told me. Really? Yeah, and we've what? been bo every time I go to Houston, he say, "Let me know when you come," and he always take care of me. Yeah, a lot of you know he, what I mean. It's a lot of love. Yeah, in Houston. so Trey, Houston hit different when it yeah, comes down. I to did it. a lot of shit in Houston though, and got a lot of love out there. For no, sure. it's so, definitely. So Texas dope. is definitely something I take. I'm not saying it's personal as you. I don't got the homage for that, but no, 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 no. I, 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 I done did Warehouse Live four times. Yeah, two of them, the shit was damn near empty. Mm -hmm. So I paid my dues. You no, know for saying? sure. You know what I mean? For sure. I, I just. Uh, I, I gotta ask you about uh, signing the uh, cash money, which I don't think was a bad idea. But just let me know how did you how did you even get into uh, understanding who they were and even knew. Oh, I mean, you know, I, you know, how did you even know? Oh, because everybody was talking. They said, "Don't sign. They gonna take your money." Yeah, I don't give a damn. about But I'm that just shit. telling you how they gonna come. I mean, but but I mean, I, you I sure know. about this? I'm, I'm I'm gonna tell you why because I look at it like this. Somebody a nigga always got something to say. Like, if you can hear a story good or bad, it's going to go one way or the other. Two, I looked at it like, you know how you might be from the hood? Like, you might be cool with the, the junkie that be outside the store. Like, bro, if somebody tell me how he got there and I hear just that, I'm going to think just what they told me. But every time I come out here, hey, what's up, young blood? He might ask for a cigarette, a beer, something to drink, something to eat. Nigga always cool to me. Take care of young blood. Be safe out there. He don't give me no problems, but something wrong with him. Same way I'm outside with the niggas that sell dope. We nigga don't rob nigga. That, that, that's my man's though, but he got he got locked up. He did five years for armed robbery. Came out he different now. But let the motherfucker that he robbed tell me the story. That's what I'm gonna think. So a bird when I met him myself and I was just watching him. Where'd he, you meet him at? I met Bird. I, they took me down to um my man Travis Peterson who used to manage me a little bit. Took you down to the what's that? He from DC. He brought me down to Miami, Miami at the, to hit, the factory. hit factory. I knew you were about to say yeah that. At the hit factory. <laughs> Introduced me to Bird. He was up there at hit factory. Um. Put me in a room with him, and we had just got cool. I, I was, he wanted me to just cut some records. I was already over there because Timberland did a writing camp. So I was already at F Head Factory and met Bird there. I came back, and I said, you know, I'm going to come back out. And we flew. We did a record. I, I cut a record called It's oh, Calm. That's that um, guy over there. I was about to tell him. Whoever's out there, there keep your fucking voice outside. down. But um, He can go outside. I cut a record called It's Calm. Bird wanted to put a verse on there. We worked. I pinned a joint for him. And then we ended up going um to New York with GT Films. He was saying, What year was this? 
I'm going to say 2017. Okay. I'm going to say 2017. So and, him, um, and, him and Lil Wayne wasn't really rocking nope. at that time. Like Wayne was literally a couple right. rooms down. Yeah, like, doing this not thing. Even talk, I saw them in the same parking lot, not even talking. Of course. Like, it was, it was, it was kind of awkward. I bet. But um, They did it the other night. For real? Uh, in front of the crowd. They oh, didn't come out of the crowd. They, they, they have their moments, but, yeah. but you, you stay out but of that. But then that, you that, see them. Yeah. So I just had a whole yeah, review about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're piece yeah, of, no, I, I, no, they family. Like, when that shit was going down, I watched them in the same park. I, I watched Wayne go, go this, the shit when he was at his peak of being angry about it, and they was literally in the same area. Parking lot. Not like talk. if it was really a problem, they could have just addressed it. But they, they just wouldn't. didn't talk to each other. Yeah. So, but I stayed out of that. But um, bro, we went to New York, shot the It's Calm video. Keep in mind, at this time we had, we did no business. We was just connecting, and I was just watching how he moved. He was giving me game without no paperwork. He ended up doing a deal with me because, at that time, I was just about to say I'm done doing independent shit. I'm gonna take a risk, and I was posting. The label run that I went on, I had went to Interscope, I had went to Def Jam, I had went to Atlantic, I had went to 300, and I posted it, and then he saw it on my Instagram, and was like, nephew, like, let me know what you what you trying to do. I see you doing your run. Make sure that they give you what you want. He was like, what you want? And I was like, well, everything I'm telling them I want, they're like, that's a little too much. He was like, put it in paper, give it to me. And that's what he did. And I, I still, to this day, got a good relationship with Bird. So you're telling me he put everything, everything you put on paper that you want. Yeah, I probably should have put more. You. Yeah, I, he I gave didn't. it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Say that loud because most people be saying he don't be doing right. I ain't got nothing to do with that. No, but I'm just saying yeah. he did you right. Bird did me right, yeah. Wow. And he did me even more right because he gave me what I wanted. I was able to give four other people opportunities. Like two of them didn't even have no crib, never had wow. a dollar. Yeah, I gave four people 50 grand that never had more than 10 grand ever in their life. Four young kids that was producing. So I was able to give them all 50 grand. He didn't He didn't even know who the fuck they was. He gave me the money. You know what I mean? It, it, it was like a little period where like we did the deal and it took a little couple, like a week or two to get the bread. But I had text Bert one time and I was like, yo, big homie, what we doing? He said, you know, my nephew, my bad. I'm going to go get it myself. And next thing you know, that wire was there. Right hand to God. And when I was trying to get out my deal, he got on the phone with me and worked it out with me to get out as well. With him, get out with Cash Money. Yeah, mm-hmm. He, he had even changed his number when me and Money, Money Man was trying to get out our deal. Rest in peace, his man CeeLo that passed away, had a heart attack yeah. at a young age. Um, he put me back in touch with Bird because Bird changed his number when everybody was getting out their deal. Yeah. And was like, nephew, it ain't going to be easy, but uh, let's let's put it in paper, get you on an on email with Ed, just give me back what I gave you. We won that 300000 back. I said, bet. You know, he was like, if you could put 100000 down, you could put your music back out and just pay me in installments. And I was like, bet. And then, let me tell you how real this nigga is. Let me tell you how real Bird is. I got down to like, this is a true story, E. I got down to like a hundred and some thousand, right? Left to owe him, right? I I said, Bird, I got 60 for you right now. I know I owe you this hundred, but I can give you this 60 right now if you just let me out. He said, man, let's do it. He said, tell the Lord, right hand to God, bro, ask him. Went there, I said, hey, Bird agreed to say, he had Bird, said, let's confirm with Bird. Why the 60? I was out. Damn, they say 40,000, just because he ain't give a fuck. He was uh, just showing he, love, like and, just being and, a real and nigga. And he loved the you fact that you, you came back the He way, loved that, like though. Like a real dude. He, 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 he knew that, though. Like, Bird see me, every time I came to Miami, I never flew. I drove. I drove my I-8. I had a chrome I-8. Looked like a fucking shining fork. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I had a sprinter. Like, that nigga knew. He was like, there's something different about this nigga. He knew me and Money Man really had, not his type of money. But he knew, like, nigga, we ain't just quit Popeyes, nigga. Nah, yeah. nigga, we got we got something. The way we knew, knew how to get it. And I was we, moving and we, right. He knew that, though. I, and I think he respected that about me. He gave me a lot of game that I would have paid double that money for. And and I still appreciate that process. Like, I never have nothing bad to say. But if I DM Bird right now, he going to hit me. Yo, nephew, how you, you good? Like, he going to say, talk to me. You know what I mean? So I always, I always respect that. You know what I'm saying? What about, so you say you and Money Man, y'all left about the same time. Yeah, so we signed about the same. I signed before and left Money. about the same time. Yeah, cause cause I was in a room where he met Money Man. He whispered in my ear and asked me what I thought about Money Man. What'd you my, tell him? That's that nigga for real. That nigga getting a bag. Cause me and Money Man was already like this. We already had six, seven songs at Acon Studio, so we was already like this. I already know how the shit he rapping about. He's yeah. dead serious. Like if you in Atlanta, you know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling Bird like Bird that shit he talking about. He he's dead ass. And this nigga could do that shit off the top of his head. He like, for real, nephew? I said, hell yeah. He said, this nigga hard. 
A couple days later, money went like, man, I just finished my deal. I was like, bet, nigga, let's that go. Nigga rocking it, hold you. Know what I'm saying? All this song beat about the same, and but that, that nigga gonna rock it. It don't matter. That nigga Every yeah. song beat sound hard. about the same. Yeah. Same. Yup, yup. And that shit bashing. <laughs> money man hard as a motherfucker. I like money man, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Money man gonna keep rapping, nigga. My nephew played that shit so much, I was mad. I was he a good dude. Uh, something that niggas don't know about money man, though, he a big listener. Yeah, he, he, listen. he, he used to call me a lot and be and ask me a thousand questions, to, and, and out of nowhere, it stopped. Cause, Cause that's what he do. He 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 gonna learn. He gonna find the loopholes and man, this shit got damn kind of difficult, man. Kid, man, help me out. Like I'll give him the game and he'll never ask me again. Really? Yeah. He was like, he, was with he, he be in the other room rapping. Hey, I need a hook on this motherfucker, man. I can't figure it out, man. Let me know when you're done. He'll leave for hours. I knock that bitch out. He'll come back, you know. Cause he had a song. One of his first biggest songs was trying me before all yeah, the big shit yeah. went. And he, that, he talking about me on the hook. She wanna fuck with the kid like him, Billy. She wanna fuck with the kid like him, Sire. That's him. That's that, him. He talking about me. <laughs> he Damn, about me. so. Yeah. Yeah, the, the nigga was. It's a nigga that live up the street from here named Lil Rock T. Okay. That's who were producing a lot of his stuff. Mm, mm. Lil Rock T, a little white looking kid. Mm. Yeah, he, 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 the nigga, remember I had, uh, what was I had, what was I was a uh, unique hustle. He said, that's unique hustle right there. Mm. He stopped, he was working at this dollar store. Mm. And he stopped the line, want to take pictures with him. This four balls talk. I said, this nigga think I'm famous. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Me, he stopped the whole line and just, Real. yeah, I'm like, shit. He's like, man, my brother ain't going to believe I met you. <laughs> That's so, crazy. Shit, this is crazy. Yeah. That's how they do it. Mm -hmm. Nah, for sure. Ever since then, it's been up. Nah, ah! for sure. Nah, for sure. Salute to that, bro. Salute to that. Ever since then, that. it's been up. You got a, you got a good, good star quality brother, about yourself, though. Oh, yeah. Like, like, no, no, you got a lot of, I, and, and I, I see this because I've seen a lot of people come and go. Okay. You got to. And you probably already know this, no, but it's like a lot, of, a lot of a lot of people. A lot of people have like certain it factors. Your shit is your shit is instant. Really? Yeah. It's like it's like the moment I walked up to the car. It was like I understand that. Like you 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 give me that energy. Like you that motherfucker. Like if I went to a neighborhood, I'm gonna remember this nigga. Like every oh, time yeah. I come back, I gotta chop it up with him. Oh yeah. Whether yeah, it's yeah. my hood or another nigga, you got that aura about you. It, so it, it's a star quality about you. Yeah, like, it's well, just I appreciate it's like, it, man. You, you, know, you can feel that shit, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been in them rooms. I've been shit. in them rooms with some major though. niggas. I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna call their name, but yeah. I got chose, my nigga. Nah, yeah. I can tell. <laughs> nah, nah, I can tell, though. Everybody walking up to me, I'm like, who you? I'm like, nigga, I'm that nigga, but yeah, I ain't telling who I was. You got that yeah. energy about you, though. Thank you, man. No, I'm just a regular old boy that just love to have a good time. And that's how this show came about, right? No, for sure. So ever since we... Huh? Just cutting up. Having a good time. Time. Yeah, that's nah, what sure. it's all about. For sure, for sure. I tell and I tell everybody, even all of my people, Carlos and everybody, it's like hanging mm -hmm. under the tree. You know, I don't look at this in no pocket. I look at it like hanging out. Yeah, we shoot so, the breeze. Yeah, it, it, it ain't talking. the yeah. same when you look at it like nigga got a questionnaire. He and it be yeah. reading that whole nigga yeah. serious. Nah, yeah. man, it's not like that with yeah. me. Yeah, life too short, my dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I what's up, know. Lord? What's up, man? Owen, come on, Lord. What's up with it? Owen, what's Hello. up, man? Hello? Hello, what's up, baby? What's up, man? Man, let me ask you something. Have you heard that new Bubba Sparks? No, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. With that bullshit, I was. Is he from yeah. Texas? No, he no, from Atlanta. Atlanta. No, not Atlanta, no, no, but Georgia. Atlanta. From Georgia. Oh, Georgia. From Georgia. Oh, for real. Somewhere in Georgia. I was damn say about College Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. He was. Yeah, I knew you. Yeah, yeah. Like, you hit that. That's on. damn so. I, I mean, that was like I like Bubba yeah, Sparks though when he came out. Yeah, like two joints. What liked happened? Him. Yeah. Well, he lost weight. He lost his buzz. He did. Yeah. yeah I like like him. Him. You don't even know him if you see him now. I liked him. I liked him though. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the same. Damn. Would you Would you do a song with him? Right now? Why would you ask me this? Just him, Yellow that's Wolf? A good, that's a good... No, Ooh, I would, you see me in Yellow Wolf? I, I seen him in Yellow Wolf up there. I, I, I seen, seen the picture. Was, was it? I met Machine Gun oh, Kelly up there in Vegas, yeah, too. Stop, everybody. Yeah, we yeah, going straight to the white yo, guys. Yo, yo, the white knights put them together. Bring them back and back and back. I love this shit. Y'all not even naming the good ones. Who is the good one? I like them. I like Yellow Wolf had a little... Post Malone? Who is that? I love Post. I love Post. Post Malone? He from Dallas. Post Malone from Dallas? Yeah. He from where? Damn, man. Wow. I fucking know. <laughs> What'd you say? Fucking no. He ain't no Post Malone. I know Post Malone from Dallas. He's amazing. Grand Perry. Yeah. I mean, Grand, uh, 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 Grand Vine. Grand Vine. Grand Vine. Yeah. That nigga from Fire. I thought he came Grand out of Atlanta Vine. because he was doing all that shit with Somebody the FKI boys. Somebody just picked him as a I top three. Who was that? Take I know. Oh, yeah, they yeah, tell me yeah. they top three artists. I, I can't seen remember. That the other day. I forget I who, though. What the it's what? real current. It just happened. Yeah, it just happened. Who the hell did? But it's crazy. But you know what's weird? Like, 
like as like a, a white boy in hip hop, yeah. we're, we're weird as hell. Not them. really. No, but like all y'all do the same no, shit. No, but listen. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're weird as hell when it comes to other white rappers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all are. Y'all be hating on each other. No, but but it's it's because motherfuckers do that to us. So like, let's mm. say I walk in the room, no one really, really know. It'll be like some girl in the room trying to be funny, like, oh hey Slim Shady, ah, or oh look at Mac Miller, <laughs> or look at. Right. That's what they do. Right, and you in the corner laughing just yeah. like that when it happens. <laughs> so, so then. That's just only a handful of you Right, exactly. So then right. we get in our feels about it. So then every time we talk to someone or do an interview, they're like, oh, do you like Machine Gun Kelly? Do you like. Do you like him? Action Bronson? I like Action like Bronson. Carlo? I like Jack. Okay. Yeah, no, Jack's, Jack's smooth. fire. He's Jack's fire. smooth. Hey, we don't exclude that. They, if they white and they dope, they dope. They dope. Yeah, but. You Post know. is dope. Post is Eminem fire. is dope. Jack is fire. Jack is fire. <laughs> And Come on, who suck? Yeah, let's be real. A white boy that, that I don't they enjoy. Suck. No, I ain't gonna say they suck. But they suck. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna suck. go suck. Don't go that because yeah. we don't want to be married. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say suck, but, but not 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 you. I'm giving them all a the try. Maybe, maybe I, I, I've try. had a hard time listening to Logic. You don't like Logic like that. I like I like Mac Miller. I think Mac Miller had a couple joints. I like that he rapped on some hip hop shit. Mac genius. I like Mac. I love M. I love Jack. Fun fact: Logic's mixed, by the way, which is crazy. He is. He is? Yeah. He's not, His dad he's is black. black. Damn. Yellow was <laughs> okay. I liked it, Bubba. Okay. Yellow I ain't mad at the white joints. Yeah, I never, I never got into I MGK give a, I give or a Yellow Wolf, shot. but I, I don't think they like suck or not. And I just, I mean, I just never got into them. I'm not, a, I'm not in the machine. No. But, but, but it's just not I'm, my, it's not I'm my team. MGK. Okay. He's a nice guy. That's what. He, we keeping him. There you go. He a rock star though. I don't even look at him like a yeah, rapper though. And when, I can see that. And I, and I, he, he like I, a kid rock. Loved it when he went off on Eminem. He like a kid rock man. I, don't I love look at him like an anybody animal. that do it. That try it. You yeah. gotta give him that kudos. Oh, yeah. And Machine in his own little shit. He like a rock star. And you know who's called though, Lil Dicky. I ain't mad at Lil Dicky. He's yeah, himself. He kinda, he's, he's himself. himself. He not, he not, really, my cup of he not really doing it no more, though. He kind of right. transcended into TV. T TV and, shit, though. And when yeah. I, but his show was fire, and he, he got a Lil real... Lil Dicky is himself. I like when they... He them Just himself. be yourself. I don't yeah. care if you white or black, but just be... It's a lot of black motherfuckers not being who they is. That's yeah, true. But yeah, I said... I'm cool. but he just kind of I wasn't mad at g -Eazy. I wasn't mad at it. He's okay. Macklemore? Yellow Wolf. See, we still going. Shouldn't have got a Grammy that year. I was talking about. See, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we still doing it. I feel for you, homie. I feel for <laughs> but, you. But yeah. I just wanted to go down the road. I know, but I'm, I'm tired of going you, down homie. that I fucking feel road, good. man. I just, I, I really, I like what you, what, what you guys bring to the table when it come down to, you know, the podcast and what do you guys expect to get from it? Like, why, why did y'all do it? Uh, it was time. It was. I think. I think the world is transitioning into that world. It, clearly. Everybody doing it right, but I think that's a, that's a reason to do something. Is because not just because everybody doing it, but it, it, that seems like where the world is going. You also gotta like like you were saying, you gotta adjust. So it's like as we get older, that that's the game we've been waiting to do. Hold on, now I could just sit down and monetize because I've been outside talking with my niggas outside for free. You know what I'm saying? Like I was telling, I was telling like the funny nigga out in the hood. Like, you know how many jokes he wasted? Oh, that yeah. would have landed crazy on the stage yeah, yeah, if he right. monetized it. Yeah. Like now, what we got? Now what we got to do is you catch a nigga like CEO E. I'm gonna cut up. Oh my time. god! Put the camera on him. Put a mic on him. It's and he's over. double micing. I mean, he's got two I'm dildos not on him. I mean, that's I'm not playing. I mean, that's right now. Yeah. At the end of the Clip day, y'all already said yeah, some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now yeah. it's like I just really that's where think. It go. I think you guys got a great dynamic. Why do you do you think do you think that the podcast is doing as well as it should, or do you think you guys got to reevaluate and look at some things Both. going different? Both. Ways? Both. Yeah. Both. Both. It, it, it's I've gotten some calls and. Ramon is out in Atlanta that I'm like, damn, I can't believe, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody know like that. Everywhere we go somewhere, bro, it's like, they didn't know his face like that. You know what I'm saying? But now when we pop out, it used to be just me. Like, side, side getting love. Okay, we at the airport. Somebody want to flip. They're like, oh, you, you homie from the show. Like, now motherfuckers that's in Atlanta, that's dumb niggas. Like, oh, that's homie from the show. Like, they might not remember old name, but they, they see the ginger beard and shit and recognize him. That's what I wanted. It's like, that's the grind, though. You know, Joe Button, they shouted us out on Joe Button show. Yo, they, they played my song, but they took the time to say, yo, this is a sleeper song for today. But yo, he also got a, a, a new podcast out. Shit, super dope. Like they didn't have to do that. I didn't yeah. ask him. To, I don't even know the nigga that did it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He just went on the show and did that. That don't count. It counts. Yeah, no, 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 no. But it, it do to me. Did Joe Button do it? No, but Joe know me though. But but, but, but that's how I come they done it. Oh no 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 for the sure. The only reason right. I say they done it because right. you from where? I'm from the Bronx. That's why the nigga done it. He be hating right. on the South. 
Let's go. Let's keep going. Hate him. But I mean, be hating on the south. But he look at this. You seen him walk off on the Migos? No, 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 no. No, you're right though. He talks about him being a young boy all the time. A stream, a stream, and a view go one by one. Right? I'm saying I watch everything. A stream, a stream, and a view go one by one. D one just got manipulated by him on there. Yeah, I'm watching him. D one from New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching. I am the gatekeeper. They be trying Joe a little bit though. No, they ain't saying nothing. Joe picks on people, man. Well, he's a fucking Joe picks on people. Joe, Joe he, 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 do, he does. People. He do, but he he he's talks. I could be wrong yeah. on this. Oh, I don't do it. He's yeah. himself, right? So, it, but he's, he's supposed to do that. Yeah, he himself. It's who he is. But yeah. Yeah. I'm who I am. So at yeah. the end of the day, I think it fits. Yeah, Joe, is, sure. Joe, Joe, been a you know I say that about them, and he's Eminem. He was with them, right? So yeah. you know he been around. Say another bro. white rapper's name. This fucking interview. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one I keep saying. Stop. Hat damn Eminem. That's what he like. He got like Eminem. You really be on I'm not. I'm not like big on Eminem like that. I am I'm like old back in the day though. Not, not even all. back then. Not at all. That's crazy. So Only reason you... because I just feel like you know we can't we can't we'll let y'all hang out with us nigga but y'all not taking nothing yeah mm. you know what I'm saying I hate <laughs> that part of no, it no because it, it, it's like you Google it. my daughter Google Eminem and it said the number one rapper well. It's no, a, boy, that's bullshit. It shouldn't be doing that. Right, right. My daughter got pissed. Y'all need to just get she better, She was like, man. who the fuck around no, in Google? Go. <laughs> right? You know what I just Jesus said? Jesus Christ. I, I, said, I just need to get better. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's set up. It's yeah. a set up. Yeah. It's yeah. fucked up, man. So what you think? Yeah. I mean. Sorry, it's a set up. Tell them the truth. What's, you what's really true? think what's when you really Google think? who's the best rapper? My favorite rapper of all time is Jay-Z. I said when you Google it, it comes up Eminem. Probably, he, I mean, it's warranted though. I respect. I it. don't think that should be like that. I respect it though. I think that's uh, that's he, he coercing some stuff. He, he got, he got some, he got some advantages. He earned no, it. No, you can't do that. Don't he do paid, that. He paid his respect. Don't do that, man. No. Don't you give away what we work for? You seen all these jungles and shit the way I we like, play paid, drums? He paid, and shit. he paid a lot of respect you know though. He paid so much homage. Oh, yeah. He respect. dope. He dope. Don't get it twisted. But so, so if I become, he don't jam like us. If I become number no. one one day, you gonna be upset about it? No, it's the way you jam. If you ain't jamming, nigga, I'm not going with you. Uh, so you nigga. mean you wasn't you got fucking to with none of the shit? Jamming, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you wasn't riding with that. Hell, how can you do that? Pimp C jamming. He basically said y'all don't pick the right beats. Right. Pretty much. Yeah, Pimp C jamming. That's the truth. Or just M. Just M. MC jamming. Whoever that, yeah. like, you gonna make him the best, he gotta be jamming. Right. I gotta put him in the car and roll. But, but it shouldn't I, be I, no stop. Huh? Nas has a problem with that too. Nas, good lyricist, but he can't pick beats for There you go. See, yeah. if you feel that way, it ain't just him. Right. It's a lot of them. Yeah, but him, no, because you say he the best, you put a bullet, you you put a your bullseye on his yeah. back. Mm, now mm, you doing mm, that. Mm. Mm. Now, if you want to say he's a great entrepreneur or something like that, like Jay, a great entrepreneur, like he dope. Nobody, he mm. didn't finish high school. God right. damn. Right. Right. This nigga bad. Yeah. Now, don't go down with who jamming because you're going to be mad at me again. Uh -huh. All right. Jamming. You know what I'm saying? Just all of it is subjective, I get it. right? Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, everybody can have their opinion. A lot of mm -hmm. times people get stuck. Facts. And they like they, they their, their position is the only position. Mm. Their truth is the only truth. You can't do that, bro. No, nah, for sure. So at For the sure. end of the day, your show when y'all started off, what y'all picked the Reds on there? How many other guests have y'all had? Oh no, I mean we on season two right now, so we only do twelve episodes a season. Oh, so sometimes we do two guests, and sometimes we do one. It just depends. But twelve. Yeah, dog. yeah, we do twelve episodes a season. Yeah, we on season two right now. Seasons, we on season two right now. Mm -hmm. just How many y'all in? Three. Yeah. Yeah, we still fresh. And when did you start? We started like what was that March? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Mark. And when I first hit the road, we took like three weeks to a month off, though, when season two started. Because mm -hmm. it was a lot. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot dealing with all that shit. How is that working for you? you, you it's really like when y'all premiere it or something, do y'all say, man, see, it's episode yeah, six? Nah, six yeah, nah, it's, bro, we got, like, when we get the clipping and shit, it's up. How long is an episode? Shit, I mean, we're going to an for an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes two. Like, with the res, no, we did part one and part two because we had to. Like, it was a lot we had to talk about. A lot of homies we had lost. You and that nigga were he, both signed the cash money. Yeah, different Kinda time. Kind of different time. Different time, though. Different setup, different situation, yeah, too. Yeah, different situations. Yeah, he, he, they went after us. No, was it after us or before? It might have been before. It was that, before. That, that, that it was before. Shit, yeah. It was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah Debo -D -D went before. Um, Yeah, but we, we, we was bros way before that, though. We really? Go, yeah, we go way back, yeah. Way back. Like, yeah. When, when he was in a, like in a corner waiting for his turn. Yeah, he had another name. What did he tell us? I don't remember. To my D-B-O. That's him, yeah, yeah. 
It would be the HBO. It, it, mm-hmm. We have this thing where who had the, what they call it, the uh, pain music first. Was yeah. T-Rail. 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 Yeah. And one more, it was one more. It was T-Rail. Homie who passed. Zero, uh-huh. zero, Homie two. Homie who passed away. Uh, Mo3. Three. Mo3. Yeah. Three. It, yeah, it's a bunch uh-huh. of pain music, but who yeah. had, who did it first? The rest. The rest. The rest is Sean. Absolutely. T-Rail said that's a damn lie. The rest is Sean. Mm-hmm. Well, you know why T-Rail said it? Because he has songs out. He, he has, they both argue about this, so they both was doing it. Around the yeah, same the time, Jean. a lot of people in Texas are gonna say zero. I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, zero. that's fine though. But yeah, no. I just feel like no, I feel like the Rez was the first big yeah. nigga singing like that. The Rez, where it felt like that, where it felt like. It, it was melody with that type of pain with the auto tune, yeah, and it didn't feel like trap. It felt like this bluesy melodic. You don't sort think of, zeros do that? Not not the we, way we, we, got, we, we, we got to go back and people, but we check zeros out. No, I'll check them out. I mean, like the way the him T Rail <laughs> Mo three was doing. What, what's the other kid? Um, the 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 big nigga that's doing this. Thing. Oh, right now, yeah, Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Rod Wave. They they all. I like all their music though. Well, I'm 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 being biased. Like how you was with Pimp C. The Rez is my guy. So I even <laughs> even if the nigga was last, he was first. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest that's, with you. It's, it's beginning to look that way over here because he'd have been on my show like three four times. See, yeah, and that's you know, that's like, that, that's family. So, I'm so going. it's kind of hard for me to go against him and yeah, T-Rail. Man. They both call you know him. So they that, that, that's in. real family. So I'm going. The Red is the first nigga. To, I think I'm the first nigga to make him cry on camera. You made him cry? Yeah. First nigga to cry on my opened show. Opened up. He opened up. Huh? He had no yeah. choice. You knew too much about I him. I know too you much. You went in too I, deep. Because I, I, I really seen him cry well, b- hey, off yo. camera. So the transparency and the trust is already there. Yeah. He had no choice but to break down. You know what I'm saying? I think if, if you had to have a award on who cried the hardest on whose show, Beehive, Crunchy Black. Mm. Ain't nobody cried like that. Mm. Who you got? We had some cries, didn't we? Yeah, we, we had, had a lot of cries. We had, we, but they weren't, we cried went, no, cried hardest. Cried hardest, Crunchy Bro. Black. You know somebody? I gotta, I gotta see it. No, I'm just. Go look. I gotta see it, I gotta see it too. Yeah, I didn't see that. I, I gotta see. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta see who cried the hardest on the show. That's crazy. <laughs> now, who's that Danny Glover looking nigga that's always like a minute? Oh man, that nigga, that, that nigga that went crazy. That was just a damn mean. That nigga yeah. went crazy. That's, 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 now he was crying on the show for real. That was also <laughs> like family <laughs> therapy <laughs> type shit. I don't you know, know what that was. I've been waiting on this girl to get out, bro, and she ain't got our chat. Uh, she went viral before viral was viral. She said, Mama, I love you. P.O.P. Hold it down. Oh, yeah, what happened to her? No, she locked up. Looking, she locked up. She got, she yeah, she got a lot of time. Got arrested. I'm hoping she come home because I want to interview her. Yeah, she got a lot of time. Cause she How say, much time she got? She, a lot, though. She said, I'm a female. That was, that's why she said, hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> she knew it. She said, hold it down. <laughs> if I tell you, hold it down, now, I ain't she coming back for a while. She said, P.O.P. That yeah, was a yeah, group name. Yeah, P.O.P. Hold it like, down. Like, that's legally her P. Blind. We all nah, got. She legally blind. Yeah. She legally blind. Her voice was cracking. Y'all, she was crying. She couldn't even say her she shit said, over She said, no, my love. <laughs> that was hard, when, man. When y'all talking. Damn. When y'all talking about pain music, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you don't answer this question. Okay. I want y'all to tell me which rapper was the first rapper to sing about mental illness, to rap about mental illness. Yeah, that's subjective. Oh, yeah. I want to see what it come with. Don't look at me. Mental. I just heard this. The, the first night. rapper. That's why, that's I, why I say don't video. don't answer. Oh, don't do my boy okay. like that. Well, he don't to do rap that. about mental illness. I ain't gonna. Okay, I don't know the first. I'm gonna say the only nigga that I know has a full b- body of work about depression, Here darkness, and depression and mental illness. Yeah, the only you, nigga that I know have, has a big album about that shit for real is XX Tentacion. Oh, really? Rest in peace. It's a, it's, it's a call. Uh, the album's titled Seventeen. Rest in peace. He has a mm-hmm. full entire album about suicide, mental mental health, depression, darkness, like. It's a classic though. You wonder why his numbers are so high? That yeah. shit is insane. But he's not the first rapper though. Definitely not the first. No, to do I, it like that, he is to me. No, right. to do it like that. But I'm talking to, to actually song. to actually yeah. to, 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 to actually rap song. about mental illness for the first time. The first oh, I don't rapper. know though. I mean, I should yeah, like go way back. And I don't think they probably use the phrase mental illness, but just they them, didn't. but just them talking about their head being fucked right. up and shit. Who you think it was? You know who say it. Yeah, hey. she know who she's thinking. Oh. Give it to me. Who you think? 
No. no. Oh, uh, that's crazy work. Um, <laughs> is it Ghetto Boys? Yes. Yeah, my, yeah, my, my mind that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Scarface? Yeah. My mind, my mind. And that's mind, what man. I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's the best rapper no, from Texas. No, no. Talked about being crazy for No, because he has that <laughs> gift right there. Like, he has that gift right there. You were talking about the storytelling piece. I, no, you can't just say I'm talking about storytelling because he's telling real stories. I don't nah, don't, 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 don't just do that, Taylor. He's the best rapper from Bro, Texas. I'm gonna be honest with you. When that you look what? at so some people, some people, some people outside of Texas. When you look, yeah, when you look at Pimp C, I'll go in a little bit more. There yeah. was a time period where Pimp C talked about it too, but you guys couldn't have got it unless you was dealing with it. Okay, put when me it on. When came down to... And that was before that song put came out. Yeah. It what was, song was it? It was Pocket Full of Stones and Drugs Being Sold. Mm. I needed that to cope with the way I was dealing in the streets. Mm. And it pretty much helped me to make mm. it through. Okay. Mm. I really was in the streets. Like right. I told Bun B. Tell him about yeah. that. I love that. I yeah, love that. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I love that. When, <laughs> it, when I told Bun, you know, when they were rapping about a Pocket Full of Stones, pretty much... I had a pocket full of stuff. Let me write, let me write it. You know what I'm talking about? Back. Can we play this? <laughs> <laughs> Please, hold on, hold on. So, uh, you see what I'm saying? I'm play this by so, YouTube. If he so, talk crazy so about tell, it, I'm going to call you and yeah, tell, tell you. Yeah, tell me something good. Works. I'm a You got to realize this is in the, this oh, is a did. way back. You know, this. Hold it down. When you, P.O., what she did? She got 18 years. What? Told you, you ain't in you you ain't in you ain't in you ain't in no it wasn't. That shit was like three four. You ain't in her. Nah, it was 2011, I think. She did some wild shit, bro. So she bro. still she'll be out soon then. On, they say I drove the yeah. getaway car. Yeah, she'll be out yeah. soon. Right. <laughs> Come on, how can I drive? I'm how blind. can I drive? I'm legally blind. She hey, you said pocket full of stones. Yeah, yeah. pocket full of stones. And 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 and, and, and uh, tell me something good. Tell me something good. So when she's supposed to come out? Schedule for release 2029. I'm surprised you ain't never heard of this. That's right around the corner. Nah, but 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 that's what this shit is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't got put onto a lot of Texas music though, but yeah. it's not them. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but UGK definitely is the one. Yeah. yeah, of course. And you could keep going. He know it. For sure. UGK. It's UGK yeah, for Texas life. Y'all can put me you on there. <laughs> but, but then you got to realize also you had, uh, during that time early on, they wasn't from here, but uh, MJG and 8 Ball, yeah, they was in Houston say, yeah. with yeah. Tony Draper. And, uh, they had Mr. Mike over there with him. Mm. And he was a force to be reckoned with. If you mm. want to go listen to that, mm. that's uh, South Circle. Mm. Mr. Mike. Hey, stop putting him on Houston music, man. Wow. He, he, wow. Not, he from he from he wow. actually from he Corpus Christi. Ain't they from Memphis? He from no no yeah. not my guy not Mr. Mike. No, I'm talking mm. about A-Ball. Yeah, they are. Yeah. But Mr. Mike was with him. I'm just telling mm. you. I'm giving you the game on who if you want to go. And, and and matter of fact, uh, Ice Cube when he came down, he came and found Mr. Had to had to catch a flight for a mm. nigga named Mr. Mike. Mm. You know, he had to come down and mm. see this uh, nigga. He right. was bad. Right. Go look it up. Look <laughs> up Ice Cube and Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. From Mr. Mike. Go look it. Go, yes, go put Mr. Mike in there. Okay. Go listen to him and tell me if he hard enough. Mr. Mike from Houston and Dallas. He from Carpus Christi. Oh, okay, okay. Go, go, like go that. look him up. <laughs> if you find a, a, a weak verse of Mr. Mike, and they, call and they me j- back. And they were jamming. Look up Mr. Mike, South Circle. All right. All and right. tell me if that nigga weak. Okay. Pac said he wasn't either. Go look him up. Okay, I I'm got giving you. you the old Mr. school Mr. stuff. Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike, Mr. Right. Mike, I got you. And and he he, he ordered a oh boy, you but that, uh, DLC from here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. from me. Yeah, mm. he got a baby named Puma, which is a grown lady by her goodbye. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop playing. Oh, now I'm giving you the game. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, she I, from I, South Dallas. Yeah. He from West Dallas. He's mm. probably the probably the oldest legend. Dallas legend. Yeah. Mm. DLC, DLC. For, DLC. Sure. DLC. for sure, for sure, yeah, mm. for sure. So I got a question. So um, since July is Mental Illness Month, right? Have any one of y'all had a friend that had suffered from mental illness, and then how did you help with their with help them? Yeah, I got a couple homies dealing with different levels of it. I got a pot, two homies that went schizophrenic. Um, I've tried to do my best to help them. How? Uh, I mean, which one? Name, just I mean, mention one. <clears throat> you don't have to say their names or none, but it's, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, with respect to their families, I probably right. won't say their name. I had a homie that that was real close to me. Okay. That uh, I went to school with and everything, a real good dude, um, and just lost it. You know what I'm saying? Started, like, walking around, taking far walks, being delusional, speaking about things. I think, I don't know how he lost it, but uh, it seemed like everybody around him abandoned him. I tried to give him an opportunity. I had him working under me. Let him live with me for a minute. Even when I was staying with my mom, it was a long time ago. Pops was like, yo, he got 30 days, get up out of here. Like, mm-hmm. I done helped him multiple times. Like, got him in the hospital, like, 
I could tell that I was attached to him because I was the only number he remembered every time he got locked up. Mm. Yep, yep. I'm actually banned. You know, I'm banned from a bar on Windy Hill because I, I picked him up and they thought I was with him. It was That's right crazy. there by the wow. show. That's but how is. draining is that for you? It's it's hard though. I, I've cried multiple times about it because it hurt to see him like that, knowing he not like that. Right. Um, I've prayed for him and tried to do what I could before washing my hands on it. Um, right. I had another homie the same way. I had to. Him and my man was living together. They didn't know what to do. He was punching holes in the wall. I'm, I'm sending it to his mom's. His mom like, oh, he all right. He not all right. Like you know what I'm saying. I, I went over there. Ended up. Um, she not even know. I not not even know he was on drugs. You know what I'm saying? Him and his girl was sleeping with him for two months before she even took him to the hospital. Mm. So I pull up, my man was dancing. Me and my man Els went to go get him, put him in my Sprinter. He was dancing down the steps with no music playing. And this is a nigga I went to high school with. Like, right. used to give me coins for the motor bus. Like, he was, the, he was older because he got held back twice. So he was always like a bigger nigga to us. You know what I mean? He had his growth spurt early. Well, I'm in sixth grade and he danced with being eighth. So this was my man. He used to steal his mom's whip. He was the first nigga stealing his mom's whip. You know how that should be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he looked out for me a lot. So I felt like I had to do my due diligence and um, took him to the hospital, found out there was drugs in his veins. Yeah. You know what I mean? People and, um, always feel like that when you have people who act like that. It's always like you got some bad drugs or something like that that get you yeah, crazy, yeah, but yeah, it's not yeah. always the case. Yeah, but he did, though. He was, yeah, doing, he was doing some um, hard drugs, losing his way. And uh, it, it, it took his brain somewhere else. He never came back. You know what I mean? Never so, came back. Yeah, just, just, and that's a, that's a different type of mental Right. Illness that they're dealing with. Um, but those people need a lot of help, man. They need people that's going to be there. Because the first ones to give up on you when you're dealing with that is family. But I've it takes a, lo take a lot for people I've to be that. there for, for you because a lot of people are just like how you had to wash your hands of that other dude because sometimes those people can pull you down with them yeah, as will. well. They will. So it's always good and dandy to be there for people. But if you see where it's affecting your life and your everyday life, you know, and you're yeah. heading in that direction and yeah. sometimes you, you have to step away yeah. or turn yeah. them over to some other people who are capable You got to gotta do your them. part as much as you can and then pray for them. Exactly. And, and, and those those people that know me, like, they know how much I did that because I knew that he, he was doing it for niggas when he was good. Right. And I watch niggas that, you know, my first man, you know what I mean, shout out to my nigga Wu, man, like, I pray for him all the time. He was the first nigga when we got out of school. He was my only other man that made money like me when we got out of mm. school. First nigga with a crib, like, he'll give everybody the key. Y'all got some shorties? Go ahead, y'all good. I'm at work, like, giving niggas phones at the Sprint store. He was showing a lot of love. And I felt like um, a lot of niggas turned their back on him when he needed mm. help. And it only got too much. I had him working for me, and he, he crashed my Sprinter. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that Ouch. was, that was the, yeah, he crashed my Sprinter because it was hitting him. He got good. He got back good for a minute. Had him working for me. He, was he on medication? Yeah, he don't like the medication. Yeah, make he him got fall, off of make it. Make him sleepy, make him right. like he feel like he don't want to work. And, and he a hustler. So right. he was like, I don't want to take this shit no more. But he was good for a minute. Mm -hmm. Pulled up to my shit. He started lo I knew he started losing his mind because he started talking crazy. Mm -hmm. He was doing a job for, um, I'll never forget this shit, for um, Gunner. Gunner was doing, before all the shit was going on. Right. Gunner was doing some shit for like Red Bull or some shit. And um, his manager rented my Sprinter. He drove. And he got frustrated because of where the girl was talking to him, and he left him. Yeah, it was like your driver just left, and I called. I said, well, "What the fuck you doing, bro?" He was like talking to me crazy, like didn't even sound like like it hit out of nowhere. Wow. Comes brings my sprinter back, pulls in my gate to call the code. I didn't answer my phone, so somebody pulls out. He tries to cut the corner and hit the whole side of the tore the side of my sprinter to a big line, and shit was like twelve grand. Wow. Yeah, lost my insurance because I, I I filed the claim. And then the nigga didn't appreciate it though, so I had to pay my deductible. But even though they paid for the rest, they they took me off my insurance, mm -hmm. and that shit had me hot. Mm -hmm. But I knew something was wrong with him, so I was like, "What do you do right there?" E? It's like I gotta let you go, bro, because yeah. now me trying to help you is taking food out my family mouth. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now all my family shit is on my insurance. So now mm -hmm. my mom's car gotta come off, my house insurance gotta. Come. You changed my life, like, because I'm trying to help a nigga that is fucked up. So. Facts. It's a lot of it's a lot of ways, but I think we all could just look out for people. You know what I mean? And for you, kind of very similar situation actually. I, <laughs> I, I like for real. I got a dog that was a day one of mine. Like when I was first learning how to record and everything, I feel like he was kind of doing. He was coincidentally doing a lot of that like melodic rap and stuff before I heard a lot of people doing it. And I used to. This is back before I even moved to the A in South Carolina. I used to go to his apartment every day and record. And when I first moved to Atlanta. I started hearing people were like, yo, so-and-so, like, he, he don't seem right. I heard he's homeless. I heard this. I heard that. And um, 
this was like my dog that I was with every day. So I didn't really want to believe it or nothing. So I happened to be back in town once a time visiting. And I was in the mall and I seen this dude walking in, in front of me. And like the his walk like looked familiar. Like I was like, I know, I know who that is. And I realized it was him and I could tell he was down bad. He he had like a backpack stuffed full of clothes and stuff. Like I could tell his clothes were old and ragged. And I ain't gonna lie, I like I like hid for a second because I didn't want him seeing me seeing him, him like that. Like that. And I called my dog A Hill and I was just crying because I was like, man, the what the shit they saying is true. So then, like, my dog A Hill came down and, like, had went to his people's house to check on him. And, and similar to kind of what Sai was saying, when he tried to holler at him about it, they was kind of like, oh, you know, he's fine. Da-da-da. And we're looking at him almost like in the sunken place, like, bro, he not fine, bro. Like, at all. Like, <laughs> he'll, he'll text me an essay and it'll be every other word is random with no connection to nothing, straight gibberish. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Bro, I was just with this dude every day for seven years and never saw none of this. So I feel like sometimes it's like you don't know what to do. Like, well, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're, why do you like, think that happened to people, though? What is that? I, that life be, life, hey, listen, man, why you, you never know. Why do you think God put that on people? Genetics, all type of stuff. There's yeah. all type of things to consider, man. I ain't going to hold y'all. Y'all got to get out of here, too. But uh, <laughs> uh, y'all gotta, like, like, That story's sad, but y'all got to get the fuck yeah. out. <laughs> y'all got to go. Um, uh I got to uh, say, uh, got a song with Charlemagne in it or something, his name or something in it, dude. The rest did that shit. Uh, yeah, I thought you you did. <laughs> you I'll, was, I'll probably mention him before. You maybe. did. Not I, I was listening. No, not in a bad way. Yeah. So, I mean, who you, you rock with Charlemagne or that's your boy? I fuck with him. Uh, I fuck with Charlemagne. We went to the same high school, by the way. He just... <laughs> He's he way older than me. He's older than you. Yeah, yeah we were, but we both went yeah, to Berkeley High School in Monk's Corner. That's what they putting out, huh? Yeah, shout out Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, man, shout out. I just, I just had to throw that in there before we get yeah. top three artists of all time. We about to wrap it up. Dead or alive, quick. Any genre. Yours first. At, top all three genres. Artists, all, all genres. Uh, top three artists of all time. All he, genres. Yeah. Yo, he ready. It seemed like you're not ready. Yet. Hurry up. Um, Jay Z. Yeah, yeah Michael, I know Jay. Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson. Jinx. Jay-Z, Michael Jackson, Lauryn Hill. Done. Lauryn Hill killed it over there. That's crazy. I don't like that shit. Jinx and who? Can't fuck with that. No, he said Jay-Z, Michael Jackson, We said the same thing. Do all white people. Like Celine Dion, Eminem. Go racist with it. Well, slow down. I'm going to do Michael Jackson. I'm going to say Jay-Z. Same list. Who and then you said Hoosh? Jinx. You said Jinx. Yeah. Well, Jinx was because we said oh, Michael Jackson oh, at the same oh. time. I, was, I shouldn't have said Ooh. that. Um, I don't know. Who should, who should my third be? Eminem. You love Lauren Hill. She ain't even right half that shit. I never meant to make you cry Put white on tonight. Put white on I'm cleaning out my closet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't know who the third is of all time. Yeah, you got to do it. It's just crazy. No who am I leaving out? Any who? genre. Prince? Who? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't like pop. That's I normal. Mean, you don't like pop. He, he did New York going dirty. There, he ain't going I knew you was going to do that. He's from Brooklyn. You didn't say Biggie. He's from Brooklyn. Nah, because Jay Z is my Biggie. Mm. I'm not. I'm not old enough to say Biggie. Nah. All right. We, I'm we, sorry. I failed, bro. Jay-Z. Bro, you gotta give me one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hold Michael Jackson and say old Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Something. something. You been saying Eminem the whole Lil time. Lil Wayne. Y'all been saying them the whole time. <laughs> Lil Wayne. Pimp C's crazy. That's all I did. Pimp C. Yeah. Pimp C is Pimp C. What up, Texas? Come on. Big Texas. I'm flying you back. Michael Jackson, Pimp C. Oh, baby. All that brothers got it. Flight, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Appreciate it, man.